Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. What is today? Today is Empties Day. Trash Talk and Empties for April, May, and June of 2024. That's right. Three months worth an entire season because I got lazy. <laughs> and by the time I realized I hadn't done April's, I was halfway through May and then went, Okay. And then came a holiday weekend, which was also my guy's birthday weekend. And I went, eh, I'll just keep building it. So we got a lot to go through today. So I'll try and speed it along because who really needs a really long video, right? So the first thing I'm going to go through is some of the heavier items. So we have a The Girlfriend from AARP, Built by Culture Fly, Soy Wax Candle in Fur Evergreen Scent. Rit and this comes from the Relax and Radiate Crate. I won this as part of a giveaway from the ever lovely Carol Gardner. So this one was really nice. Um, I liked it a lot. It's had a very cute uh, glass as well. Uh, so I used it to hold some things for a while and then the cat pushed it off the thing and it broke. So <laughs> she's all, oh, I broke it. Yes, you did. So this is candle number one. Candle number two, I did not keep the glass, but it was just a basic Glade uh, candle. They're fairly cheap and they do really well. They burn nicely. And this was in a Coastal Sunshine Citrus scent. And I definitely will be getting this one again. So it's Coastal Sunshine Glade candle. They're only a, a single wick. They're only about three and a half ounces. So they can go in the bathroom, um, et cetera, et cetera, just for ambiance and a, a nice sweet scent. Um, I also put them out by my entertainment center while I keep an eye on Dara and it's never left unattended. So the next one I actually bought um, from hemps.com. They had a sale of uh, buy X amount uh, and get a free candle because it was their birthday candle. So this is buttercream birthday candle scent, a limited edition. I burned it down as far as I can. Um, otherwise it just heats up and, and, and then starts heating up the glass. And I, I usually have that one behind me um, and I don't want to burn the wood. So this one is at its end. Um, it definitely will be recycled. The next one is a vanilla cream four ounce soy sandal and it's already burned through the bottom. So <laughs> yeah, I used it down, wiped it out. Um, I don't need the tin for anything, so it'll definitely be recycled. I um, don't remember if somebody sent me this or this became part of another box, but it was just a nice little vanilla scent. And that's it for the candles. The next of the big items are air fresheners. And the reason I'm doing this, because everybody needs air fresheners in their lives, is to give you an idea of what works and what doesn't work. Now, I love the scent of watermelon. And this is Fabrice 100% Natural Propellant Limited Edition Watermelon. Now, you would think watermelon would smell great. But if you're trying to cover up smells, whether it's the bathroom or the kitchen, the scent does not do it. It's a pleasant enough scent if that's all you want is a pretty scent in the air. But as far as covering up other scents, no. Same thing with this. This one was made, uh, again, from Fabry's, um, a kitchen odor fighter in fresh lemon. It didn't really do its job when we're talking a lot of onions and garlic. Um, and it smells too too much like every other cleaner out there that's got a lemon or citrus scent. So it was, um, I, I, it did its job, If again, if you just want a pretty scent in the air, but it smelled too much like almost every cleaner out there. Now, the next two. I like the Christmas scents of apple cider. And this is, again, with Fabrice. I do tend to stick towards that. This is a great scent. It does cover up um, smells in the bathroom, smells in the kitchen. Um, and it is a fairly strong scent. So you, if you are scent sensitive and do not like heavy scents, this probably isn't for you. I like strong scents like this. And it's apple cider. So it, it's got a, a tartness and a sweetness. It just has a basic good scent. It covers up a myriad of sins in the bathroom. Same thing with this all round Fabrice air mist, heavy duty, crisp, clean, two times the odor fighting ingredients. Perfect for the bathroom. <laughs> we all know what it is, especially if we live with men. No offense, guys. But this does cover up just about 
everything stinky that can happen in the bathroom. So whether it's human or cat, uh, this takes care of it. It does well throughout the rest of the apartment to freshen it up, uh, get rid of kitchen odors as well. So that is Fabri's Air Mist Heavy Duty Crisp Clean Scent. So that one is definitely the last two are thumbs up and definitely will be repeat buys. Also, <laughs> through the month of April, I have so much stuff on my bed, I'm balancing things. We got really sick. Um, it wasn't the uh, C19. It was just your plain old everyday cold. It did settle um, into our chest a little bit, but it wasn't um, rhinovirus or flu virus as far as we knew. It was just your basic virus that was running around. Um, so we went through a lot. We did. Uh, between the two of us, um, went through Ricola's uh, soothes and protects throat balm, and this was caramel flavor. Um, that one was new. I found this on Amazon, um, and I really liked it, and he did too. It is very soothing, very much like honey, um, so that it, it, it's got a, a liquid center to it, and um, we got ended up going through two of those. He doesn't use nose drops, but I do, but definitely in a three-month span, I went through four boxes of the Amazon version, uh, which is equivalent of four-way fast-acting nasal spray. Uh, this is the one that has phenylephrine hydrochloride in it and not the, the one you usually see for Afrin. So I <laughs> threw four of these in three months. Um, we also went through six of these cough syrups. And again, I stick to Robitussin honey just because it doesn't leave your tongue coated in a bright red color. And it's made with real honey, um, helps control cough, relieves chest condition, thins and lo loosens mucus. So that means it's guaiofenacin is in here that is your expectorant that helps loosen everything up. Um, and it doesn't taste that bad either. So I do recommend that if you have to. Um, it is for adults. Um, dextromethorphan and guaiophenesin. So you've got your dextromethorphan as your cough suppressant and your guaiophenesin as your expectorant. It has the taste of real honey. Um, yeah, it, it's not objectionable at all, honestly, but this is made for adults, should be 18 or older to purchase. So I don't know if it's got any alcohol or anything else in it. Um, citric acid is the first uh, inactive ingredient. Um, artificial and natural flavors, natural grade A honey. So it does have actual honey in it. So I do recommend that. I dyed my hair once in three months. It's probably going to be needing it again. And I always use the Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color in um, number 10, black. My hair is naturally very dark chocolate brown. It is now getting peppered with silver strands <laughs> through it. I'm not going to call them gray because they glint, so <laughs> I'm going to call it silver. Um, and this does best if I dye my hair black rather than a dark brown. If I do a dark brown, it ends up looking brassy or maroon and doesn't do the full coverage as I wanted, so I always do my hair black. It seems to match my eyebrows well enough, so hopefully it doesn't look too um, garish or unnatural. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go through the samples, like foodstuffs, etc., that I've gone through. There's probably more that we just ended up eating and throwing away. But this was a blueberry sage stress relief um, tea packet. And I want to say somebody gave it to me. I don't think it was in a sample box. I want to say it was Kimmy hanging out with Kim. Could be wrong. I didn't write the name on the back of it, but I think it was hanging out with Kim in friend meal. Um, I tried early bird morning cocktail blood orange mimosa, and this is supposed to be a dietary supplement that's supposed to wake you up in the morning. I did not care for that. I got it off of uh, a sample thing from online, so I don't really like that. Um, calcium, sodium, potassium, um, and a whole slew of, of other things <laughs> that went into it. And you're just supposed to sh put it in a, like a, a, a container to keep the water cold overnight and shake it up and drink it early in the morning. It did nothing for me. In fact, it, it didn't make me feel all that great. Not horrible, just I don't see the point of it. So that was a hard no. This sample came out of one of our Universal Yums. Um... Where are you from? <laughs> I can't remember. Universal Yums. I don't know where it came out of, but we both liked it. It was a um, chocolatey bar with apple wafers and nuts. That was pretty good, but it was definitely from Universal Yums. We also got Sour Punk 
uh, Spaghetto soft candy. These were like sour strings. And eh, they're, they're just nothing. That they're, they're, they're more like a children's sort of thing. But, you know, I ate them, whatever. <laughs> he didn't really like them. He tried one. He was all, yeah, you can have those. So, but again, came out of Universal Yums. Next thing came out of Pinch Me. I believe, and that's Ultima Essential, Six Essential Electrolytes in Cranberry Cosmo. Not flavorful enough for me in a 16 ounce bottle of water, um, but I will review it anyway. I've got to remember to keep this so I can review it, and it came out of a pinch me box. Um, the next two items came out of Social Sampling, which is a California uh, connecting consumers uh, with brands, um, and they were different Tide Pods. Um, one was unscented, which I don't see the point, but if you're scent sensitive and don't want extra dyes or scents in your, uh, this was an interesting little pod. However, this did prompt us the Tide Pods 4-in-1 Oxy Ultra. Actually, we went to Costco and bought the big container, all $23 worth of it, but that will last us many, many, many months of laundry. So social sampling, thank you so much. You actually prompted a real sale. The next thing came out of... Uh, another um, Universal Yums. This is barbecue sauce flavor uh, grilled seaweed roll. A little bit too spicy, and it just broke apart way too easy. Um, it was interesting to try. I was happy to try it. He didn't eat any of it. I think he had a small taste, and that was it. He's all that one's all yours. Um, it was only 10 calories per container, but that came out of Universal Yums. The next one was Suthura, a Thai coconut roll, roasted sweet corn. Um, he doesn't like the really hard, crunchy things, um, and, but he did try a little of it, and he said, no, this is all yours. <laughs> so, again, Universal Yums. Um, I don't really like coconutty things all, much, all that much, but the only coconutty thing is if you mix it with uh, toffee and oatmeal uh, cookies, I'll eat it, and I absolutely love Almond Joy, but that's about it as far as coconut goes. So this was, okay, Universal Yums. The last one was a Green Team Matcha Cream um, Coated Cocoa Biscuit Sticks, aka this equivalent of Pocky. And they had an interesting flavor. We both shared this. We both finished it. It isn't something we're going to go out and look for at any of the specialty stores, but it's like Pocky. How can you not like Pocky? <laughs> so there's that. I'll go over the makeup wipes next. My usual uh, makeup remover from Neutrogena. These, I think, are one of the best on the market. Um, super, super soft. It is fragrance free. I don't mind that in a makeup wipe. It is very soft. It is just saturated enough. It does an excellent job. Even if the only things that I do are eyes and lips, it takes it all off and I don't have to struggle with it. It is a nice smooth glide and it leaves my face feeling very fresh and actually very soft. So I definitely recommend the Neutrogena brand. The other one that I picked up came from, um, Shop Miss A, a makeup remover wipes, a pH balanced, alcohol free in rose water. There was only 15 here in these. Now they do their job. I'm not going to say they aren't, but the consistency and texture of the fabric, the paper, whatever, whatever it is, is a little bit skittish. So it doesn't glide across your face as you're taking everything off. There's a little Roughness isn't a word, but that's the closest I can come to. So there is a little bit of roughness um, in this. When I'm going to use all the rest of them, absolutely. Would I buy them again? Absolutely, especially for, you know, I think it's a $1.88 price. So they're great to have. They're small enough to keep in a purse, in a glove box, in a desk drawer for any occasion that you just want to freshen up your makeup or uh, just feel nice, cool, fresh face. So there's that. I'm going to go on to Flat Goods. Um, I'm not sure I did all that great for a three month span, but we have this Lecau or Lecou sleeping mask that I got from Timu. I love these things. I've got an entire bucket full of them. I just didn't go through that many and I don't know why, but they are good. So if you see them on Timu and you're interested in trying them, they do have a variety pack of, I don't know, one, 10 and 20 um, for a very minimal price. If you're interested in trying all of their brands, different um rejuvenating sleeping masks. The next thing we have is This Works. There's two of those. And I want to say they came out of, I think, a winning from Carol Gardner. And no offense to Carol, I think I've had these before on Birchbox. This Works doesn't. 
These are little makeup remover wipes. They're just rose water and mint, which sounds great, but doesn't really smell all that great. It doesn't smell bad, but it just doesn't smell great. And honestly, it, it couldn't take off. Each pad could not deal with just taking off one eye's worth of eye makeup. So I don't really recommend this if you see these um, in any of the sample boxes, etc., like Birchbox or Ipsy, but I do thank Carol Gardner. It was I was ecstatic to win one of her giveaways. She does a hell of a job filling those boxes with lots of wonderful things. Okay, the next is apparently I only did one eye mask <laughs> in a three month span, and I'm not sure if this is Grace and Stella or not. The name isn't stamped on the back of it, so I just did one eye mask. And as you can see, with no makeup on, I do have puffy eyes. They're a little baggy, just a slight discoloration, so I guess I need to concentrate on that more. We have a Cheetos face mask, and this was gifted to me by Christine, Life with Christine. She, Mary Catherine Loves Casts, and Erlene S. and I all did a collab together. We're trying to get uh, boost uh, Erlene's uh, subscribers. She's the baby channel among us this time, and this was such a fun mask. No, it did not smell like Cheetos. It had a really nice scent to it, and I thank Christine for sending it to us and prompting our little group to do something a little wild, a little different. We've got Patchology Served Chilled Rosé, a wine, quote unquote, mask. Now there was two masks in this and I got it from Ipsy. Would I get it again? Yes. Is it is it great? No, it's serviceable. It does its job. And in a two pack, it's it's hard to, and you only don't have to leave it on like five minutes. So if you want a refreshment sort of thing, this is a good way to go. Next is vitamin, multivitamin orange. And I just picked this up from... Guess was it Shop Miss A? I think it was Shop Miss A. Yeah, Shop Miss A haul that I did. Um, it was a nice mask. It smelled nice. It did its job. Next was Hyaluronic Acid um, Aqua Mask. This was gifted to me by the ladies of Wicked Awesome Lifestyles. That is Sherry and Erica, Boston Way. So thank you, ladies. This was friend mail. It wasn't a, a winning or anything like that, but I truly do appreciate that. The next is Cherry Blossom Wildflower Sheet Mask. Again, I can't remember if I got this off of Shop Miss A or if I got it off of Timu. I want to say it was Shop Miss A, and I like the smell of this mask. This was nice. The next one is a Crim Shop Hello Kitty Shooting Stars Sheet Mask. Absolutely stinking cute. It was a printed mask, and it was gifted to me for a collaboration by hanging out with Kim, a.k.a. Kimmy! Yay! <laughs> this is too, too stinking cute, and I love collabing with her. She's fun. I really do adore her. The next is also from the Crim Shop, Mary Ann Bright, and this was gifted to me by The Sea. Now, she's up in the Bronx, and this was sent to me as part of a Christmas card, and that was so, so wonderful of her. Very, very kind. This is a great collagen and vitamin C mask. Definitely, Crem Shop is one of the best, and I do thank C for thinking of me and sending it to me back at Christmas. The next is a Chill Facial Mask, Peppermint Infused. I think I got this as part of a scoop from a company that escapes me. Um, they're down in California, too, down near Palm Desert. I'll think of it. <laughs> I will. I'll think of it and, and then probably link it down below. Uh, I love it. It's a cute little mask. This is a steamer mask, and I believe I got this off of Timu. Those steamer masks are amazing. Um, I, I never uh, knew about them, I think, until I want to say Mary Catherine sent me one. So she didn't send me this one, but she sent me one. I'm all, oh, that's cool. And I found them on Timu. So they're great little masks, especially if you have a headache, if you just need a little uh, rest and relaxation for your eyes. The next is a Beauty Pro Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Sheet Mask. This was given to me by my mod sister. And that's what we call each other because we are moderators on several channels, uh, other channels together. This was given to me by Terry in England. And I will have all of these ladies that have gifted Wee Mouth Masks linked down below. So thank you, mod sister. Love you, love you, love you. Appreciate that. Especially when you have to mail something from England. Oh my goodness. So the next is a nourishing facial mask. And again, I think I got it out of the place that does scoops down in Southern California. And I can't remember the name. 
yeah, they got a, a lot of other stuff like palettes and things in there too. It's not just this. So I'll figure it out and <laughs> link it down below. Great mask. It, it had a, a, a lovely aroma of minty hot cocoa. Definitely a Christmas mask, even though I used it in probably May. Uh, the next is uh, from Present Skin. It is a dear to your skin brightening and wrinkle. This was gifted to me by Mary Catherine. So thank you, Mary Catherine. This was a cute little uh, mask. It did its job. It smelled good um, and not tested on animals. We both, that's something that we're both interested in because we're both cat moms. The next one was another one of those morning masks. I think, again, I got it off of Timo. Um, great little thing just to give your eyes a little rest and relaxation. The next is something that I pulled off of Amazon and actually came in a three pack of three different masks. So I did the Darth Vader one. Let's see, what was the scent on this one? Um, black tea, black tea. Now there's two other ones and I've sent one of the masks off to someone else that hopefully <laughs> in the future, that person and I will do a Star Wars collab together uh, or at least a mask together. And the last mask was from Tony Moly, a brightening I'm Lemon Sheet mask. Um, and I just had bought this one and it has been in my stash for a while. I figured, oh, it's getting close to the due date. I better use it up. So let's see. Shampoo and hair wise, we have um, Fructis Groovy Strong. Oh, Grow Strong. Groovy Strong. Grow Strong with Biotin and C Thickening Shampoo. Um, for 72 hour fuller and thicker hair for fine hair. I, I love this stuff. I definitely get it again. I lighter, like to intermix my shampoos. Um, I don't like to, to stick with the same thing. I also used a dry shampoo, shake it, then get fresh. Herbal Essences Dry Shampoo, color me happy, instant clean and color protection. I need to find this stuff. I really liked it for my dark hair. It did not leave a residue. Most other ones do, but this one did not. So I definitely have to find that one again. All right, more shampoo. Um, OGX, I really recommend this brand. This is the extra strength, extra volatile, volume biotin and collagen conditioner. I think I'm still working on the shampoo. They come in various different sizes. This was the short and round one. Definitely recommend it if you have thinning hair, problem hair, need more strength. If it's brittle or thinning, this really does help. <laughs> Maybe not can't tell, but it does. So there's that. I went through one thing of makeup wipes. I always get them off of Amazon, little cotton rounds. They've got a good price. Um, there's some other ones that I've seen at Costco, but I don't want to spend like $18 at once for, you know, something that'll probably last me the rest of the year, but I'd like the like $2.50 thing off of Amazon. Now getting into more of the makeup that I actually used up. I used uh, an aloe lip balm all the way down. I even like scraped some of it out. Um, and I want to say it was Sador, which means I got it off of Timu. Great little thing just before you go to bed at night, just to moisturize. It doesn't feel tacky. Um, it absorbs quickly. It's not going to leave a smear on your pillow. So that was good. I also, um, that was a declutter. <laughs> My, um, Favorite brand of eyeliner is Maybelline Unstoppable in Onyx, and that is my day-to-day -day wear for uh, eyeliners. I've been using it for decades. <laughs> decades. <laughs> we also have um, the Maybelline Superstay 24-hour lip stain. Comes with a color in the bottom and then um, moisturizer on the other end to make it more of a gloss because you know how um, stains can just dry your lips. And this was in, I believe, a bronze. Now I've um, replaced it, or is it a coral? I can't tell. No, this was the coral. So I've already replaced it with a new one. So there is that. Let's see, let's go through the declutters. There's next. Um, there's a bunch of things that have, I haven't used because they weren't to my liking um, and they've dried out and died. <laughs> so this was um, Aurora. It was a intensely precise eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, felt pen in espresso. Um, it just, it, it tended to, to um, it wasn't, the cap keeps coming off, which just fell into the trash. Um, and that was one of the reasons why I, I, open up the bag and it'd be smeared on things and then it finally just dried out and died so there is that we have a bunch of lip glosses that have done the same because they weren't my colors um so they've just died um this one i don't even think i opened but it's all hard and cracked inside complex culture 
Um, it was just like a silver lip gloss. Um, again, wasn't my thing, um, and it's just dried out. There were two ColourPop ones that I think came from um, probably a mystery box, and they're starting to discolor and crack on inside of it, so I don't trust either one of them. Um, they just, they weren't my colors, and then I just let them sit, and I didn't send them out in friend mail, so I am decluttering these. And the last thing was a Milani. It never even got opened. It's still completely sealed, but I can tell that it's starting to discolor and crack, and it was called, the color is called Blush, um, a nourishing lip plumper. But again, um, I can see there's discolorations and dryness. Uh, I don't know how long it had been sitting there, quite frankly, so it is getting decluttered. There was some nail polish that has definitely gone bad because it's totally, totally liquid, and it actually went along with that um, lip gloss. It's like a, a silver, uh, but it's, yeah, it's gone really weird. It's so totally liquid. Uh, yeah, just, no. So, decluttering. Gotta use your good stuff. Uh, the next thing I actually, when I originally got it, this came from 2022, my first round of Birchbox. I was absolutely delighted because it is a lemon rescue butter from Dr. Botanical until I realized it after the first use that it smells like really gross Play-Doh. Doesn't smell like lemon. It smells like really gross Play-Doh. <laughs> So I probably used it once or twice and realized this wasn't for me, and I've just been sitting around thinking, oh, I should use it, I should use it. No, if it stinks, I'm not going to use it, so I'm definitely decluttering this. These are two highlighters from Copacetic Cosmetics, which came out of the Copacetic Cutie uh, subscription bag that I used to get. Um, I don't have a use for highlighters. I've tried to use both of them as eyeshadows, but they just, they're just falling apart. They're just, they're just cracking and, and so declutter. If I'm not going to use it, let's just declutter it. This is a Star Skin Camellia two-step with oil ampule on a sheet and this expired in 2020. So I'm definitely not going to use it. And I didn't use it because I didn't like the format of having an ampule and some sort of weird sheet mask to do a two-part thing. Um, so I'm decluttering it. Um, I don't know who sent it to me. There's a little thank you stamp on it. Honestly, don't know. But um, it's like four years expired. So definitely decluttering, getting rid of it. Okay. So the next things are lotions. Um, this one came from Timu. Um, hand cream in Freesia. Um, that was a cute little one. I liked it a lot. Um, I get it again, too. So this is a Timu. Probably was 89 cents at the time. And then its twin was um, Cherry Blossom, also from Timu. Hand cream. These, that's what they look like right there. So there's that. Again, again, worth it. I, I get them again. This next one was Barefoot Venus, and it was a macadamia that had a very much vanilla smell to it. Very pretty little artwork, like 1950s pinup type of thing. Um, I think this is the second time I've had one of their lotions. They're really nice lotions. They have a, a scent that lingers. I like the scent. I put it on at night. Um, it was a very thick formula. You, if you extrude it, it, it comes out as a little <laughs> tube rather than uh, liquidy or anything. So definitely something I'd look forward to getting in, in an Ipsy or whatever. Again, I think that's where I got it from. The next one was just a, a Vino, and I want to say this was a Walmart beauty box, a Vino Daily Moisturizing. I've got a huge bottle of this, and so I just use this up. It it's, works really well, it, especially um, for very, very dry skin, and it doesn't leave a scent behind. This one is e.l.f. Cosmetics, and I want to say that I got it in Walmart. This is the best sugar scrub for your lips um, that I've ever gotten, and I've got it marked down on my Amazon wish list to buy it again. It is a brown sugar lip scrub from e.l.f. I highly recommend it. They have other flavors, uh, scents, flavors, I'm not sure what you want to call it, as well. So, But the brown sugar one, I was absolutely delighted with this one trying to get through this really quick because I'm bordering on 30 minutes and I hate watching 30 minute videos. So, um, next is, um, serums. This took me <laughs> over two years to use Farsali Unicorn Essence, uh, antioxidant serum. It just wasn't a go-to. I didn't really think it was great. Uh, it came in a three pack that I got off of Ipsy that I bought as a full-size add-on in a three pack. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know where the other two are. Uh, they might still be in there, then I'll have to figure out where they are and declutter them as well. But this one I just basically used till it dried out. So eh, I don't really recommend it. But I do recommend this. Han U, Han Hu, H-A-N-H-O-O, -O, Watermelon Illuminator Overnight Serum. Highly, highly recommend this. I got this as a sample on Ipsy when I first started out. And I went and I think bought five or six of them either off Mercari or eBay, and I'm still going through them. I love this. This is a gel, so it is perfect for summertime. It has a clean, fresh watermelon scent without smelling like artificial watermelon or watermelon rind rather than fruit. This smells like the watermelon fruit. So highly recommend um, Han Hu, H-A-N-H-O-O, Watermelon Illuminator Overnight Serum. Next is toners. I've been on a toner kick. Absolutely love that stuff. So, um, Elemis Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. Love it. Love it. Out of my price range, but this was a really good size sample. It was over one and a half ounces. And I would definitely, I think I have one more in my stash. So if I ever see it as um, on Ipsy or Birchbox, um, I'll definitely pick it up. Elemis is an excellent brand. It's just their price point is way above my pay grade. I also finally used a, a free sample that I got um, by just looking at uh, Instagram abs well over two years ago. It's called Bubble, and it's Bounce Back Refreshing Toner, which goes with the Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer. I got it as a three-pack. I think I gave the cleanser away in recent friend mail. Um, they're cute little things. I thought they were adorable. I tried them out. Um, it took me two years to try them out, but I finally did. I finally found them to try them out. Um, they're okay. Nothing to, to write home about. Uh, let's see. The next is... Oh, must have misread that. Uh, oh, there's more toners. How about that? We have a Mamond Rose Water Toner in rose flower use that up love the scent of rose there was a <laughs> tea time apple matcha tea um this is a biro product i absolutely love biro toners and eye creams um so i think i have either one or two more in my stash so i'll definitely be using those the next was a holy toner by a muse. I want to say this was either, I think this was Style Vana that I picked this up for. I went through a toner phase and everything that I was buying from Style Vana was, was toner. So this was a good size. It's over an ounce, ounce and a half. Um, can't remember anything about it, but I remember I liked it. So there's that. I'm getting out of room in my trash bag. Um, next is a hair curl thing. I've had it before and it's called, um, is it uh, Eden Body Works Nourishing Curl Jam? It does go on thick like a custard, so it does leave a, a heavier residue. But if you're trying to hold down the fluff and frizz and keep your curls in place, this is really good. It has a nice scent to it. But yeah, it is a custard that you are scooping out and putting on your hair. So I finally used that. Uh, let's see. My cellar water, it was, uh, I think this came out of a Walmart box, Garnier My Cellar Water removes, removes waterproof makeup. So there is that as well. Um, I have a big bottle of, I think the rose scented one. Um, I've gone through an entire bottle of the blue one and I have a larger sample of this blue one at work to help me clean up makeup, etc. So highly re recommend the brand. I have a watermelon lemonade antibacterial hand gel with natural essential oils. This was delightful. This felt great. This smelled great. And I believe I got it from the giveaway from Carol Gardner again. So thank you, Carol. This was cool. Um, it's from, where are you from? Who are you from? It's a big brand. I know that. It's called Pocket Pack Watermelon Antibacterial doesn't say who it is. I don't know if it's Body Works or who, but this was great. So um, kind of sad to see it go. Wish there was a larger bottle. <laughs> Next is hair care that I got from Ipsy, Avita Nourish Nutri Plentish Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I like these. They just spritz, 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 and off you go. So definitely something I'd get again. We have Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. It is a very light cream. 
Um, it goes on very quickly, absorbs very quickly. It just doesn't wow me. I know there's a lot of people that love glow recipe that just, they're, to me, they're just eh. So there's that. Again, if I got it as a sample, I wouldn't be mad, but there you go. Last three items. Um, I think this was a little moisturizer. It's called Relieve It. It might have come out of the um, a box that I bought a, a special mystery box on. Mm. I don't know. I can't remember. I know Kim from Iglia from Kim's A Little of a Lot used to get this box as well. I can't remember the name of it. Sorry, but it was okay. It has no scent to it. We have Yensa's Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Face Cream Flower uh, Flower Pink. It did a good job. Um, if I got it again, I wouldn't be mad, but I'm not going to go out and buy it. And the last item is the Yuzu Orange Moisturizer from Perlise. There were like three different Perlise moisturizers that came all out at the same time on Ipsy, and I bought two of each, so I think I've used the Yuzu Orange one, and there might be two or three left of the other ones. So that's it. I think I've run out of space on my phone, so it's going to take forever to upload. So thank you if you've uh, reached the end with me here. <laughs> three months worth of empties and talking trash. So please everyone thank you so much for your visit it means a lot to me give me a thumbs up for positivity share me out i just hit 1200 uh, subscribers and i'm just absolutely tickled pink thank you all so much uh, i truly do appreciate anywhere from my youtube ladies that shouted me out shared me out um to uh the subscribers that come back and watch me and, and leave me good comments and chit chat with me over on instagram etc so Thank you so much, everyone. Please take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And I'll see you around the net. Bye.